Now with a free and easy and comfortable head position, let's have a seat again. And let's take a look at all the ways that our torso can move. Ah, uh, so let's try this. What we want to do is we want to tilt forward from the hips. Right, we don't want to bend from the waist. We want to tilt forward from the hips. Our torso and our head as if they were one nice flexible unit. So let's tilt forward, kind of medium speed, just so you can see what it looks like. And you can take this as far as you think you need to take it. And we turn. And then let's go ahead and tilt backwards. Again from the hips. And return. So let's do this again, except let's do it very slowly. And let's just pay attention to any feelings of tension that want to creep in in the process. So again, let's tilt forward from the hips. Now, if you're like me, you're really feeling it in the lower back. You'll start to feel a lot of tension in your neck and radiating into your upper back, your shoulders, even down into your arms. Right? Again, this is just gravity wanting to pull us down and all our muscles compensating to try and hold us up. So let's return and just notice how all those feelings of tension just gently dissipate. All right. Let's try the same thing backward. If you're like me, you're feeling it a bit in your abs, you're feeling it in the front of your neck, and curiously, I'm still feeling quite a bit in the, my lower back, uh, across my shoulders, and even radiating into my arms. And let's return, and notice how all those feelings of tension just tend to disappear. So let's try this again. Let's just kind of do it medium speed. Let's tilt forward and backward. Forward and backward. And just kind of notice a place in between those where it feels nice and free and comfortable and balanced. Right? That's where we want to be. That's the feeling we want to cultivate. Great, so let's take a look at another motion. All right, let's lean to one side or the other. So again, we want to try and do this from the hips. We don't want to just bend at the waist. All right, we want to do this tilting or leaning, if you prefer, from the hips. All right, so let's try that. One side, kind of medium speed. Turn. Other side, medium speed, and return. I'd like to try an experiment with you. Try this time just bending at the waist and see what that feels like. So imagine that your butt is welded to the bench. Okay, so this can't move. We're just going to try and bend about our waist and just compare how that feels. Try the other side. And turn. All right, compare how that feels to this. All right, which one feels freer and easier? You bet. All right, this. So here's one lesson we want to learn here. All right, one way to free your torso up is to make sure that you're not welded to the bench you're sitting. Right, it's okay to kind of rock on your sits bones. This applies to the side-to-side -side motion. It also applies right, rocking front and back. Let's take a look at one last motion. Right. Let's rotate our torso. And actually our torso and head as one unit. Let's rotate in one direction. Now if you're like me, this feels kind of like a 
spiral spring that's coiling up. So the tension here is coming from kind of the winding up of a spring rather than any imbalance in the force of gravity. And we turn, let's try the other direction. So we don't need to make a big deal of this motion. This is just something to be aware of. And we turn. All right. So let's put all these motions together, right? We've got tilting forward and back. We've got left and right. We've got some rotation. Let's kind of put those together, kind of into some random motion, right? And just kind of find a place where everybody goes, wow, yeah, that really feels nice, right? That's what we want to cultivate. Right? We don't want to analyze all these things. All we want to do is find a place where it feels free and easy, because that's what it's going to feel like when we finally get to the piano. Another point, and I have, to, I have to repeat this, I can't say this enough, is this free and easy place is not rigid, right? It's somewhere in here, it's flowing, it's very much alive. 